Hello, I'm Doug DeWitt, Transfer Paper Product Manager here at Condi Systems, welcoming you to another video in our series on the Laser Imprints Go Uno, our recommended color laser printer for doing color laser t-shirt transfers to white, light color, and dark garments. Now, while this printer is capable of producing some great looking prints, and even in full coverage such as this, the one question I'm commonly asked when it comes to the Laser Imprints Go Uno is, how much does it cost to generate a print off of this unit? Well, that's what we're going to discuss in this video today. In this video, we're going to teach you how toner cartridges are rated by manufacturers like Okie Data and other companies. With that information, we'll be able to tell you how you can calculate a cost per print based on the percentage of toner that you use in your design. After that, we'll show you some real world examples of some cost per print figures generated with the Laser Imprints Go Uno. And after that, we'll give you some basic information on how you can cost your jobs off the Laser Imprints Go Uno so that you can accurately quote your clients. Now, in order to do this, I'm gonna to have to show you some slide presentations that I've developed here. I know slides are boring, but they're necessary in order to explain what is happening. So let's jump over to the monitor and we'll begin. In our first slide here, we have information provided to us by Okie Data, who is the manufacturer of the Laser Imprints Go Uno print engine. In this slide, they are giving us a lifetime total cost of operation, comparing the Laser Imprints Go Uno color laser printer to a Hewlett Packard Color Laser Jet CP4005DN, an HP Color Laser Jet 5550DN, and a Xerox Phaser 7400DN. As you can see by these figures, the basic premise that Okie Data is trying to relay is that the Laser Imprints Go Uno is going to have the same basic cost of operation as your standard color laser printer for doing any type of office printing. But as we have to note, all this information is based on 5% coverage of a letter size page, which is an 8.5 inch by 11 inch sheet. In our next slide, we have a breakdown of a percentage of coverage and the relative cost for black toner as well as your combined color toners, your cyan, magenta, and yellow. Again, we start at a 5% coverage and base the cost for the black toner and the cyan, magenta, and yellow toner combined. What we do here is we run a linear progression based on 5% coverage all the way down to 100% coverage on an eight and a half inch by 11 inch sheet. So as you can see, as the percentage of coverage increases, your cost per print for your black as well as your cyan, magenta, and yellow is going to go up. To give you a realistic figure, 25% coverage for cyan, magenta, and yellow and black would represent about 100% total coverage on an eight and a half inch by 11 inch print. You can ignore the figures going below 50 to 60 percent because any combination printed with that quantity is going to result in a very muddied image and is not a realistic goal. So most of your projections will probably fall somewhere between 5 percent to 25 percent coverage. In our next slide, we're demonstrating the Laser Imprints Go Uno estimated cartridge life. Again, this is based on a toner cartridge that's rated at 8,000 pages at 5% coverage over an 8.5 inch by 11 inch sheet. What this slide demonstrates is that when we move from 5% coverage to 10% coverage, which is doubling our output, we have to drop our approximate yield per toner cartridge. So once we move from 5% coverage to 10% coverage, our yield is cut in half from 8,000 prints on an 8.5 by 11 inch page down to 4,000 prints. Again, if we double the coverage from 10% to 20%, we must cut our yield in half, dropping from 4,000 prints to 2,000 prints, and so on. So basically, if we printed 80% coverage of every color on every 8.5 inch by 11 inch sheet, we'd probably only get about 500 prints out of a full set of toners. But then again, that's an unrealistic yield. More often, you're probably going to be looking at between a 20 to 25% coverage rate. 
which will put your yield between 1,600 to 2,000 prints on an 8.5 inch by 11 inch sheet. In this slide, we're demonstrating what is 5% coverage. Well, if we take the surface area of an 8.5 inch by 11 inch sheet, we get 93.5 square inches that we need to cover. A 5% of that figure is going to be a square of about 2.15 inches. This would represent 5% coverage. So if we had an 8.5 inch by 11 inch sheet and we used exactly 5% coverage of cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, we would get approximately 8,000 prints if we used a full set of toners and printed the same design until all four toners ran out. By our estimates, you are getting a cost per page of about 11.65 cents if you used 5% coverage of cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Again, 5% does not relay a realistic expectation of what people are using the Laser Imprints Go Uno to generate, which is full color printing. So let's jump to our next slide for a better example. In this slide, we have set up a graphic where we have taken an 8.5 inch by 11 inch surface area and divided it into four equal quadrants, each quadrant being four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. What we've done with each quadrant, if we have filled each quadrant with an equal portion of cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. This is a good representation of what a full coverage print would produce. As you can see here, we now go from a cost per print to about 16 cents per color for our cyan, magenta, and yellow, and about 11 cents for our black. So, if we base this out over the lifespan of a toner cartridge, you're looking at approximately 1,600 prints out of a full set of toners on 8.5 by 11 inch sheets if you started with a full set and produced the same design until all four toners ran out, giving us a cost per print of about 58 and a half cents to generate this design. In this slide, we're giving you a real world example of an estimated cost for coverage of toner. Since we do not have analytical graphic software that can exactly match the amount of cyan, magenta, yellow, and black that we're depositing with this particular graphic, we sent this graphic up to Oki Data in their home office based in New Jersey. This information was compiled by Al Ferreri, who is a senior technical support manager at Oki Data. He was able to take this image and run it through an analytical program to determine the exact amount of cyan, magenta, yellow, and black that was deposited on this page to generate the print. As you can see here, when it comes to the cyan, magenta, and yellow, we are covering about 13% of the page with each color. The black is a little less, it's about 4%. So now let's figure out our exact cost per print to generate this image. Since the color cartridges have an approximate 8,000 page yield at 5% coverage, we have to figure out what the coverage rate would be at 13%. By using a simple equation, we're able to figure out that at 13% coverage, we could get a yield of approximately 3,076 prints per set of toner cartridges. Now at a cost of $205 per toner cartridge, we take that cost, divide it by our estimated yield, 3,076, we come up with a figure of .067 cents per color. Now, if we multiply that by our three process colors, cyan, magenta, and yellow, that comes to a total of 19.9 cents, so almost 20 cents. Since the black cartridge is a lesser yield and a lower cost, we ran through the same calculations to figure out the cost of the black. At $150 per cartridge at a 4% yield, we're estimating that you can get about 10,000 prints, which would bring your black cost at about one and a half cents. So, if we add up our cyan, magenta, yellow, and black toner, this print would cost an estimated 21.4 cents to produce.
Now let's quickly review what we've learned today in regards to toner coverage and estimated yields out of a set of toner cartridges for the laser in Prinsco Uno. Most color laser printer and color laser copier manufacturers base their yield and cost on 5% coverage of an 8.5 inch by 11 inch sheet. While that might be practical for office environment printing, it doesn't really translate well when we're generating full color graphics to go on to t-shirt transfer papers. If you're generating full color graphics, you want to estimate your usage at about 25% coverage per color. So if you have an 8.5 inch by 11 inch sheet and you completely cover it in toner, you're probably looking at a cost of about 60 cents for your toner on 8.5 by 11. If you were to do a full bleed 11 by 17, you need to double that cost to about a dollar 20 cents. Factor in the cost of your transfer paper and that should give you a worst case scenario pricing when it comes to costing your jobs for t-shirt transfer paper. Also remember that these figures are estimated figures. It's almost impossible to gauge exactly how much it's going to cost to print or your exact yield out of a set of toners unless you have some analytical software to do so. So remember your figures of about 60 cents per print for 8.5 by 11 and $1.20 per print for 11 by 17 and that should be a safe figure to quote any job that might come your way. However, if you have any questions about the material we discussed or you'd like additional information, don't hesitate to contact us directly at 1-800-826-6332 or you can visit our website at www.condi.com for more information. Until then, my name's Doug DeWitt, Transfer Paper Product Manager here at Condi Systems. My time is up, and I thank you for yours.